A Harlem community activist filing an emergency request for a presidential pardon, all in a desperate attempt not to get deported. We first brought you Robert Panton's story this fall. He's facing deportation for a single drug offense from more than 30 years ago. Fox 5 Sharon Crowley sat down with him and has the latest on his deportation battle. New York is my home. Harlem is where I was raised at all my life. This is the only life I knew. 58-year-old Robert Panton considers Harlem home. His parents moved him here from Jamaica when he was just four. He'd like to stay here now, but he's facing deportation. I have another chance to do things differently, to make up for some of the things I did in the street. You see, when Robert was 24, he was convicted for a nonviolent drug offense and sentenced to life in prison. After doing time for 30 years, a judge released him, determining Robert had been fully rehabilitated. In the years since, Robert has become a community activist, turning his life around, founding a nonprofit, and focusing on helping others. I want to live my life and not try to catch up, because you can't catch up after you lose 30 years. But what I did is try to build on everything that makes a difference now. Immediately after his release from prison in 2020, ICE began deportation proceedings. Robert's lawyers have been fighting it, but his luck ran out during a hearing last August. He's supposed to be deported in March. His legal team now wants to take his case to the White House and ask President Biden for a presidential pardon. He's requesting a pardon that would allow him to reopen his immigration case and hopefully stay in the United States. Olivia Albrecht is with the National Immigrant Justice Center. She says this bold legal maneuver takes time and time is running out. Robert is supposed to be removed from the U.S. in just three months. So what we're hoping to do in the near future is ask Immigration and Customs Enforcement to give him more time and give the Department of Justice time to thoroughly consider his application, allow him the opportunity he deserves to stay with his family and stay with his community in Harlem. And Robert tells me one of the reasons he doesn't want to be deported is he worries about what will happen to all the young men he's trying to help. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.